Hi everyone, I'm super excited to show off this game. Um, this is Toho 7. It was officially released in 2003, so it's a little older um, as far as the Toho series goes. There's quite a few games at this point and they're still being made. Um, that being said, this is my personal favorite and I'm very excited to show this one off to y'all. Uh, it is a, a very wild bullet hell, and there's going to be a lot of patterns that you won't fully understand right off the bat, but that being said, the music is just killer throughout the entire time, and the patterns are beautiful, so at the very least, if you don't understand what's going on on the screen, you can just uh, listen to the beautiful music and watch the beautiful patterns and enjoy. All right, um, we are going to be doing normal 1cc today. Um, what 1cc means in that title? is we have one credit, i.e. if we ever use a continue, the run is officially over. Uh, so if my lives ever drop to zero, the run is no longer a valid run, it is officially over, no pressure or anything. Um, <laughs> but that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. The run will start as soon as I hit this um, loadout select on the screen. Uh, we'll be using Marissa B for this run because Marissa B will be the fastest for the run. So I'm going to count it down in three, two, one, go. Okay. Um, you see up in the top right, there's a few things to pay attention to. The player is my lives. The bombs is blue. And then the points are the other major thing to pay attention to. Um, the points, if you see, it's out of 50 right now. Um, whenever we reach that out of number, it's going to give us a one up. Uh, most of this run is actually going to be farming lives because the fastest way to do this during a speedrun setting is to use all of the bombs in each life as fast as possible. So what we're going to be using is farming all of our lives, getting rid of all of those bombs on the boss fights, and then intentionally death defusing in order to get all those bombs back. And that is going to be a little uh, rinse and repeat that we're going to be doing throughout the rest of the run. Yep, I am using a keyboard. Um, that being said, for Sage 1, we're actually going to be trying to max out our power tokens first. Um, power directly correlates to how much damage you're dealing, and how much damage you're dealing, especially in boss, fat boss fights, is going to mean um, faster times. So for a speedrun setting, we need to max out our damage as fast as possible, and then we'll start to focus on the blue tiles in order to get as many 1-ups as possible. I'm also going to be holding left control for any boss fights in order to skip all the dialogue. Left control just allows you to skip cutscenes. And here is our first example of how much damage Marissa B's bombs do. Um, this is why we're using Marissa in this run, because there was a spell card, and now it's no longer there. Nice. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. So that's a good stage one. Um, there is a few extra things to point out. Um, one that you'll be seeing me uh, use a lot is there is a mechanic in a lot of Toho games, not just this one, called the Point of Collection. Um, the Point of Collection is right above where this, like, the power says on the right there. Um, the point of collection is really interesting because it's a high risk, high reward strat. You collect all of the tiles that are currently dropped on the screen if you go up here. Um, obviously, that being said, uh, that gives you a really good example of... Um, it's really easy to just be instantly killed up there at the top of the screen. So we're trying to avoid being up there for as long as possible. We're going to be running up there and grabbing items. Now, for those of you who are a little overwhelmed at everything on the screen, you should definitely be impressed by Alice's moves, but notice that the hitbox on the character is actually the little circle on the inside. So she's able to evade death just a little more easily because of that small hitbox. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering how I'm not getting hit by any of those, pay attention to the little orange circle. That's my actual hitbox. Um, we're actually not bombing out of this one on purpose. Uh, there are a few mid-boss spells that are dynamic. And that being said, what that means is the stage technically continues on behind the boss, regardless of how fast you, how fast you finish that boss. Um, so we can go ahead and just 
do the entire boss spell and not bomb out of it because bombing out of it won't save any time. We'll just get kicked back into this road here and still have to do the exact same amount of time before the next boss. I think this would be a good time for one donation. Yes, we can definitely do that. We have a $50 donation from Anonymous. And do you want to just uh, take a moment to uh, talk about the hard mode, the uh, Yuyuko incentive? Oh, by all means. Um, so we're currently playing on normal. Um, the hardest difficulty in this game is quite a bit more difficult than this. Um, that being said, even just normal is quite a bit more difficult than this during the ending stages. So the uh, incentive, if we do manage to meet that, will be me playing the hardest boss on the hardest difficulty. So if you want to see me play the hardest boss on the hardest difficulty, then uh, by all means, go ahead and get those donuts in towards that incentive. Um, just for the extra incentive as well, I'm going to be trying to do it bombless, so I won't have any crutches to use on the, the boss. I'll be trying to do it entirely just skill-based dodging. I can confirm you definitely want <laughs> you definitely want to see this mode. It is you're gonna be so impressed by it, so get those donations in. And there's stage two. Now this game is really appropriate because we are hoping for the arrival of spring. We need that to happen. We do not want these snowflakes and I'm sure some people can, can really <laughs> relate with that in their locations. I know I can. Yeah, um, the entire plot of this game revolves around spring is supposed to have already sprung but is not coming. So we're trying to investigate around the area and figure out why. Um, spring has yet to actually properly spring. Um, I'm doing my best here to farm as many points as possible. Um, survival is not quite good enough for the speedrun. We need to try to get rid of everything on the screen because everything needs to drop um, power tokens or in, uh, and point tokens. Um, and if we don't get those point tokens, then we're not going to be able to properly farm all the lives we need by the end bosses. Um, Supernatural Borders are an interesting and unique mechanic for this game. Uh, Supernatural Borders, if you look in the bottom left, the pink number, whenever that reach is um, 50,000, that will give us a border. Um, the borders have a few interesting properties, uh, the most obvious of which is they give us a free hit if I happen to take damage while a border is active. Um, one of the more important things as far as point, far uh, point farming goes is that it collects all items on the screen automatically for us. Um, so that being said, automatic point collection is really helpful when half of this run is dedicated to just farming points. Okay, so this will be an intentional death abuse. Because that speeds up the spell by quite a bit. I'm also going to be purposely trying to time my borders for normal attacks. Um, we don't bomb out of normal attacks here because normal attacks tend to have um, spell card armor. Um, the spell card armor makes it so that our, our bombs do way less damage. Um, so during the actual spell cards, the enemy boss uh, spell cards, we, we do way more damage with the bombs than we would in the normal attacks. So I'm going to be trying to time borders for normal attacks. And then I'm going to be trying to time bombs and intentional death abuse if we don't have any bombs for the spell cards. Um, if you look up at the very top at the health bar, um, any red slash pink health bar is going to be one of those spell cards, and any white is going to be the normal attacks. Um, stage 4 is where it really picks up in difficulty. So y'all will see this pretty immediately, honestly. I think you mentioned that it's one that's not actually random. It sort of chooses what it's going to do based on how well you've been doing. Is that this yeah. stage? Yeah. 
Um, that is the stage. Um, the, the end boss fight in particular will give you a harder pattern based on how well you've been doing. So it takes into account how many bombs you've used, how many borders you've broken, how many lives you've lost during the stage. And it, uh, it basically tries to see how well you're doing at the game and will give you a harder pattern if you've been doing better, which is really interesting. Um, there's very little actual randomness in this game. There's just a little bit of it, but um, most of the bullets on the screen are either um, aimed at you or they're predetermined. Um, so that being said, despite what it seems like, this is a very speedrunnable game because most of this stuff is already predetermined, or you can uh, manipulate the spawn pattern. Do I have time to read a couple of donations? Go for it. Fabulous. We have $25 from Enosaur saying less than three. We also have $100 from Kung Fu Fruit Cup. Alice is doing amazing so far. Keep it up. Also, love Thank the hair. You. And so does Shat. Here's to more uh, FF with that Yuyuko fight. Let's get that incentive. Keep being cute, Chat. Less than three. <laughs> and we're making some great progress with that. So let's keep going and let's keep pushing. And uh, we want to see this even harder fight. Alice, can confirm your hair is winning. Thank it's you. It's winning, chat. All right, uh, stage four is a bit of a run killer for me, so I'm trying to focus a little harder on this one than I normally would be on other stages. Cool, okay, that's one of the hardest parts for me. Um, once again, just survival is not enough for this. We need to make sure that we're getting rid of all enemies on the stage because they only drop items if we finish them off. Um, so we need to make sure that we are finishing off all the enemies on the stage so that we can get their items, which is super duper important for this point farming. Uh, a lot of what I'm doing is manipulating the shots in order to make the pattern a little easier for myself. let those points go. It's more important that I don't lose a uh, three bomb life. Nice. Okay. And just pop in with a quick donation. Go for it. Perfect. We have $25 from Massive saying, Hey Alice, I have faith in you. Putting up my donation to see you fight Yuyuko. Good luck and remember to tell those bosses to get resurrect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oof, that was a brutal life to lose right there, but that's okay, we're gonna make it up. Um, so a lot of this fight is also going to be me trying to track uh, Lyrica as fast as possible. Um, you see she kind of dodges between your shots. Um, she tends to dodge ooh, a little bit away from you and then back towards you and a little bit away and then back towards you. So we need to try to track her as much as possible because we're trying to get the um, health bar down as fast as possible in terms of time save. Can I pop in with another donation? Go for it. We have $75 from Armisale saying, I love seeing shmups. Cute hair, cute chat, and cute Marissa. And with that, we are getting even closer. We are at $695 out of a needed $2,500. We are a quarter of the way there, but we're also halfway through our run. So we are really going to have to do our best if we want to make this incentive. 
Okay. Um, we took two brutal deaths here, so I'm actually going to try to go into a bomb conservation mode for marathon safety. So I'm going to manually dodge a few of these and see if we can go ahead and save the bombs. Had to blow the bomb at the last second. Oh well, we still saved one. And the first road of stage five, good time for a donation. Fabulous, yeah. we're ready. We have $50 from Jamie. Uh, we are huge Toho fans and are excited to channel that towards such a wonderful cause. Good luck to our incredible runner and thank you for putting this on, Frost Vitals and crew. And thank you for helping us, because again, we are getting even closer. Just a reminder, when you are donating to this uh, wonderful event and cause, make sure to assign your donation to that incentive. We want to make sure it's met, but if you don't assign it, we can't put it towards. So let's keep pushing. We're almost a third of the way there. So Alice, you're getting a lot of love for how beautiful this run is. And yeah, oh you know, my gosh, this run is gorgeous. <laughs> most of the time when I'm silent, it's kind of because my mouth is hanging open, my eyes are bugging out <laughs> and I'm sort of drooling a little bit. It is Fair. It's phenomenal to watch. But well, don't worry, while you and chat are mesmerized, I can just keep reading donations. <laughs> There's definitely a little more time. Perfect. We have $20 from Anonymous, and we also have $25 from Rarest. Well, mm. in terms of marathon safety, this is a very not good situation to be in. I'll try to clutch it up for you, chat. Now, you are trying to make her aim in a very specific way, right? Yep. Um, I am leading her shots. Uh, Yomu is one of the most leadable, shot or leadable bosses in the game, which is very convenient. Um, I'm basically trying to get her to lead her shots upward, so it makes it easier for me to dodge. And with all of this stuff that you're seeing on the screen, remember to watch the little orange circle in the center of the character, because that's the hitbox you're watching out for.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Chat, can you handle this game? Seriously. You need to meet this incentive. And helping out with that, we have $25 from Dimagico. Hello everyone! Been an awesome event so far and I've been loving seeing this expert play of Toho. Good Thank luck on you. the rest of the run and keep on keeping on. And remember, it's your donations which are going to help us get to that incentive and we are doing so good. I know we can do it, everyone. We have $25 from Kapachi saying, uh, or sorry, let me rephrase that, from Kapateki. Um, let's take our spring rolls back from the greedy ghost princess. What? <laughs> spring? How does one steal spring? Don't be silly. Um, just a quick warning here. Uh, this section is kind of brutal, so as far as marathon safety goes, we might be needing to use a continue. Never mind. Who needs continues? What up? You're too powerful for continues. <laughs> also, we have $10 from Anonymous. Thank you. We're also officially 32% of the way through this incentive, but we're getting really near, like we're getting through this run. I think we're about two thirds through the run, over halfway for sure. So uh, we're gonna need your help. Please cute Twitch chat, you're our only hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you seeing this? Imagine this and then multiply it by a bunch. And, and that's what we're talking about. <laughs> you definitely need to see it. I'm gonna be so proud if I can manage to clutch this up. We've lost so many bombs, so I just have to manually dodge almost all of this. Well, I've been told that this is actually the last boss. Yep, this is the last boss. Oh, yeah, okay, um, well. So the incentive goes towards fighting her, but on three times the difficulty. So three times worse than what you're currently seeing. Uh, yep. Trying to help us with that is $15 from Epson Babe. Toho games are just so beautiful with lovely music that I absolutely adore. Really want to see the lunatic mode, uh, Yuyuko fight. P.S. Trans rights! <laughs> um, that last one you just saw with the knives, that's one of my absolute favorite strats because the bubbles that you saw have a much smaller hitbox than they actually appear. So um, you can just barely squeeze in between those bubbles. We have $25 from Infernal Translator. Thank you so much. This is also one of my absolute favorite patterns for dodge. It's very, very fun. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and bomb out of this one, because this one's a very long pattern. And then we will try to do a manual half and half and one bomb on this. Oh! Oh well. Almost clutched it out for you, chat. So that, that right there, as far as the speedrun leaderboard, means that it's no longer a valid run. But we're going to go ahead and finish off this run for you. You're valid in our hearts. Yeah, you Thank really you. are. More than valid. Gosh. We have 
Okay. I'm just going to say we have a $25 donation from Jared saying loving the Toho run. You could have more, everybody. It's not too <laughs> late. Okay. Um, this, this game ends with the final resurrection spell. Um, this has no actual boss hitbox. You just have to survive for 65 seconds. We also have a $25 donation from Serene Source. I'm more of a winter person myself, but this run is too cool. I'll accept the return of spring. We're 40% of the way, everyone. We have a thousand, we're at a thousand dollars and 20. We can do this. We have a hundred dollars from uh, Leviathan saying, I heart Yiko. And we also Same. have 50. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, we also have $50 from Keys Puffs. I've never played a Toho game, but I love this run so far. Let's get this incentive met. Definitely. We can hold off on spring for just a couple more minutes to see this. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, imagine okay, just trying to survive time. this. Oh, time. Wow. Jeez. GG. Thank, thank you. Amazing. Yeah, it's way easier if you got right up close to it. A lot of the spells actually in this game are, are easier. It's kind of like a high risk, high reward. Uh, Zun really likes incentivizing those kinds of things. Um, we did use a continue here, so we actually get the bad ending if you use a continue, which is too bad. But um, that being said, we got spring back in our hearts. <laughs> Thank you for GG's. The game is thanking you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so, so much for this yeah. run. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me. I, I had a lot of fun with it. And thank you, Chad, for all of your support. Uh, we may not have reached this incentive, but uh, this is all still going to the amazing cause of Malala Fund. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We uh, are just so happy. Um, with that, though, uh, we are going to be closing up for the night. Uh, we've done some good dancing, some good lightsaber, and we've also done some, some amazing, you know, Toho. It doesn't need to be described more than that. Um, we will be back tomorrow, and that is a promise, at 1 p.m. Eastern with more games. And it is our last day, so it is lined up with just such amazing games. Um, we have Tetris the Grand Master, which, if you have never seen, it is Tetris brought to a whole new level. We have Katana Zero, two separate runs, in fact, because one run just wasn't enough. And our classic love of Super Metroid. So, everyone, make sure you tune in tomorrow for that. Um, I know I am. But with that, we are going to go to a short break. We're going to chill here a bit. And then we are all going to go together to uh, another wonderful speedrunner. So stick around so you don't miss uh, out on that. And uh, I'll see you all here tomorrow. <laughs>